guest this evening is an Academy Award winner uh, who has created such films as Pulp Fiction and Reservoir Dogs. His latest film, Jackie Brown, opens on Christmas Day. Let's take a look. Uh, 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 here we go. AK-47, the very best day is when you absolutely, positively got to kill every mother in the room. Got no substitutes. Nothing gets between me and my AK. This is the Chinese model. I get them for eight fifty. Double my money. Try that for me, would you, babe? No, it's for you. With over Girl, don't make me put my foot in your ass. There's no way to talk. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Quentin Tarantino. Oh, it's my pleasure, man. My pleasure. Really nice to have you here. Uh, you know, uh, I've heard great things about this uh, about this movie, and we didn't see him in that clip. But once again, you've you've found some very cool '70s uh, uh, stars. Yeah. Pam Greer. Pam Greer. Foxy Brown. Coffee. Exactly. Also, uh, Robert Forrester, who yeah. I, who I remember from Banyan. That's it, man. That's it. Yeah, Robert Forrester. He was the star of a show in the early '70s called Banyan. It was like kind of like the one of the first attempts. This was in the early '70s. First attempts to kind of like you know go back to the old film noir days sure. and stuff. And no, I remember was, it was kind of a very it was a, it was a dark show actually for yeah, television. Yeah. And you've made a, a name for yourself. I mean, you, you you do great films, but but in particular you have rescued some '70s stars. You of course uh, made a big star of John Travolta. Uh -huh. I'm curious, are there any '70s stars that uh, you think you're going to rehabilitate next? <laughs> I was thinking, for example, what about rerun? Do you yeah. think there's any chance? <laughs> Actually, you know, uh, if you remember, he was actually a member of the group The Lockers. Yes, he, right, well, The yeah. Lockers used to have yeah, this the, the, great way of dancing, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm dancing yeah. with Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. What the <laughs> hell has happened to the show? Uh, Chair dancing with Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> exactly, but, but I'm, I'm thinking, like, you could make, you could make rerun a, uh, like, it's a hitman uh, or something uh, uh, in a very cool movie. Exactly, put him and Robert Hedges together, <laughs> and they, they could be another show. Yeah. 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 What about uh, The Captain, for example? Is there any chance that you would rescue The Captain? <laughs> the the no, that captain. Oh, those, oh the, the captain. captain. As in, oh, the captain. Not the love boat captain. Uh, the captain oh, the of captain, captain and Tennille. The captain. Yeah, well, I think I'd have him do my theme song or something like that. Do these guys ever call you? Do you ever get a call from J.J. Walker or something saying, hey, I could play a Dino detective? Mike. Yeah. <laughs> it's me. I could help you. Uh, well, you the, the thing about that, though, is it's really funny is because like, you know, people say, so are you trying to like, you know, bring right. these people back and stuff? And the thing is, it's like, that's a nice benefit that happens. I'm mm -hmm. serious. Like, like when it comes to like John Travolta, right? I, I practically feel like he's my son or something. Like I'm like, because I'm proud about. It. I'm. You mean so, your dad? No, no, no. I mean, no. I'm talking about like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, definitely. But I, but I mean like the pride that I have in him. Sure. As far as like you know, he got the Pulp Fiction and but everything else. But also, he did I mean, on his own. But also, you know, I mean, people of the. Probably, I don't know your age. I'm, I'm 34 of that generation. Grew up watching TV in the 70s. Yeah. We really like those people. It's oh, not yeah. like a campy benefit to show that we really, we really like watching those people on TV. But the only thing about it, though, is when people say that kind of stuff. Right. Is it's like it's, it might sound like I'm trying to do a stunt. Right. By bringing these people back. But it's just the fact that it's like I'm not really trying to bring anybody back necessarily. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to cast the best actors for the that right you can role. Find, right. And the thing is, unfortunately, what happens a lot in Hollywood, especially when it comes to like studio films, mm -hmm. is they kind of got that list. And I'm not talking about even like the stars, like the Harrison Fords and and you know whoever. But it's like um, even for the character actors that show up, you have the same actors that keep showing up in every movie for the next five years. And after five years, some of them fall off and other people join it. My list is really long. Right. All right, I have a good memory, and Robert Forster's on that list, and a lot of people are on that list. And you only have to be a good actor to be on that list. You don't have to be hot. That's great, because me and Andy could make a great buddy cop movie. Yeah, no, I think so. No, I, I loved you in... Uh, Cabin Boy. Uh, yeah. Cabin, Cabin Boy, Cabin man. Boy. You were playing Cabin Boy. So the next question, where's the film role for Andy? You know, I... <laughs> Come on! I, you you know, can do it! I'm, I, I'm, I really didn't want to leave my career in your hands. <laughs> I mean, Trust thanks. me, kid, I've taken you this far. I'm going to go all the way. Hey, you mentioned uh, you don't do it for a stunt. Speaking of stunts, you had... And, and when you were making this movie, you had Skirt Day. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. What was Skirt Day? 
Well, I wish I could take credit for Skirt Day, but mm -hmm. actually uh, that uh, other, other crews have had that before. But what Skirt Day is, it could also actually be referred to as Latent Homosexual Day. Uh, <laughs> it's basically the day... I know what you're talking yeah. about here, yeah. <laughs> It's basically it's the day where all the males on the crew, not the actors because they got to work, all right, right, but all the males on the crew just show up in a dress, all right, and uh, what kind of did you wear a dress too? Oh yeah. What kind yes, of dress did. did you wear? I, I dressed as a very uh, sexually vivacious uh, Catholic high school girl. That's very cool. With a slight glandular problem, all right, <laughs> um, but it's like uh, right. uh, uh, I went to a. Uh, um, the costume designer, mm -hmm. and I said, uh, okay, I want to go as a Catholic high school girl, and like, she prepared a costume for me, so, you know, I had the blue blazer with the little insignia right here, right. and the plaid the skirt and the knee-high socks mm -hmm. and a little hair clip and the everything. The classic Aerosmith video look. Yes, yeah. exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how I know it. And, uh, but it's like, uh, but it was funny because, like, some guys kind of, like, kind of scarily get into skirt day, all right? right. Some of the grips and the transpo guys in they particular. They like it too yeah. much. It was, but I like, to... hey, skirt day was yesterday. Yeah. No. <laughs> Take off the feather boa, yeah, Carl. And, and, yeah. and, uh, gay pants days tomorrow. <laughs> All right, you gotta... <laughs> hey, I gotta ask you because we're real tight on time, but. Uh... I know that you're coming to Broadway soon as an yeah. actor. Mm -hmm. uh, it, what is the name of the play you're going to be in? Oh, we're, we're doing a revival of the thriller, uh, Wait Until Dark. Oh, uh, right, briefly, the, the, the plot of this. this. Well, the plot is I play uh, one of the, like, it's, a, it's a revival. It's an old play. It was, uh, they did a movie out of it with uh, Audrey Hepburn and Alan mm -hmm. Arkin. And it's where uh, I play a psychotic killer with two other con men who are trying to uh, uh, connive uh, a doll full of heroin from this blind girl. Okay. All right, and the blind girl played by Marissa Tomei. This is a show for the whole family. It's a, yes, it is. Yeah, exactly. It's a musical. You walk out just singing the theme, I promise. You we know, must uh, get that heroin. La, la, la. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people that, you know, are going to, like, you're going to get the Grease audience of nice old ladies. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, this will be nice. Right, exactly. What heroin? <laughs> Archie, no one told me. Uh, Jackie Brown is uh, coming to movie theaters on Christmas Day. Uh, continued success. Thank you. With, with everything. Thanks a lot for coming on the show. Oh, nice man, to have you here. It's a great pleasure to be on here. But I've got to just tell you one thing before we go. Sure. Is, is, uh, one of my best friends is this uh, gal, uh, Sarah Kelly. She directed this movie recently. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called uh, Full Tail Boogie. She's got the biggest crush on you. Yes! She has... <laughs> she these are, these are my favorite anecdotes. Her, her the sun rises and sets on your dirty drawers, man. I'm telling you. And she just... <laughs> All right. I, I think that's the nicest thing anyone's hey, ever that's said. That's a bomb, me. man. That, she, she is, that's the compliment of the highest order. All right. Well, we'll talk about her in the commercial. But Quentin Tarantino, thanks so much. Prince <laughs>